terms of like making this Pucks game pretty troublesome. And I think generally speaking, the Drow Ranger Silence is one of the more problematic spells. Bottom 11 does eat a pretty big snake there. He's gonna have a salve though. Got top lane, they're bound DM. DY, he's been able to trap him in the cogs. He's attempting to break his way out of it, but they've got the damage. Po yo yo. Able to claim first blood up here. His power is dead. Absolutely. So. Or he's going to start going to work with the Elder Dragon form back up and ready to pop yet again. And they're even sending rockets behind the tower. DY is already scouting to see if anyone's sitting behind GPK in the mid lane. I mean, these two again, you know, save and DM. They try and step up for DY, but PYW has made the move over. GPK is in with the counter play. There was Solid Dream going on to the two of them. He'll jump onto the high ground. He's got the damage to burst through DY. So GPK able to respond, gets the kill on the support. The rest will be able to back up in on it. Ori is going to step up to try and get rid of this, and DY is watching from the tree line. This is It's impossible for VP to defend. They're going to have to let another tower go. So it's nine minutes five, in. DY. He finds Kingslayer. I yeah. Kingslayer's are walking into this. DY, he should have the damage here with the battery assault chase down. Kingslayer put the stick charges. It's not saving him. So two tier one towers. A kill's been found. Vici Gaming. They're going to look to hit hard. This Blink DK reveal. Oh, this is scary for VP. They have the damage follow-up. That's the, that's the real scary thing for sure. Is DY. Uh, catch him on his own here, DY. Oh, he's got the cogs. And also, Ori by his side. TP out there. Force the coil. Is indeed going to force that. It's a kill, but it's a coil. There's the ult down. And this could be a... Go through that Medusa. Global, not online. See, VP makes the read. VP's actually making their move top at the same time. There's the jump. Kisses coming out as well. They're going to have a good amount of damage coming in on tonight. Fortnite is going to go straight for the TP out, though. And with the cover of the global, the quick TP, Nightfall makes it away from the move. Same time, top lane, VP, they're getting it onto Poyo. TP's coming in, Fisher's out here to catch the two of them. Hold 11 turns, Echo Slam straight into the face of the Drow. They take out Poyo, -Yo. they'll lose safe with no GPK. Quick with the jump out. Is he able to get away from this? Old 11's trying to chase, but they don't have any further gap close. To scale inside of the game, doesn't want to just be a blink. He's going to actually go for that Witch Blade. Yeah, they need the damage. Yeah, definitely. Oh, DY. Put catch here onto the Willow. And uh, no escape out of the cogs. DY, he'll be bounced away. They'll have Ori and PYW to wrap around with the finishing damage. Great cookie. Factor and everything else of all the rest of the lineups because like he has like all these body ears, so I'd give Drow the yeah. pretty big favor in the later right, stages yeah. because of that and because they don't have the same type of reach. DY. And talking about reach, closes oh. him with the hook shot. He pulls him out of the oh. cogs with the shockwave. Uh, he's not going to be able to get the blink off though. Actually, using the slam here. Ooh. So, yeah, that's, that's. I mean, they need that. That's uh, what 150 seconds, no slam. Can make moves though. Something we did not talk about, of course, is the coil into the fear combo that will be coming out. That's oh, tough. Oh. Look at this old 11. He's able to get the catch on the Deuce. Oh, Immediate global and stone gaze. Fisher out under the four of them. They're giving the coverage for Nightfall to break away from VG Gaming. The kisses are coming in though. They're trying to change. Keeper Gaze jumped in on the back lines. He's in on Tapo Yo Yo. He's on top of the drought. The fear. the fear. The snap back on the coil. The damage is done. VP, they jump the drought. Turn over towards old 11. Old 11 pulls the RP though. The AoE damage there from PYW. But they've lost the draw on the Magnus. VG Gaming have to back off as V. Basically, they didn't get that uh, big core kill. I'm back in action on the top lane. Look what they found in. DY. Uh, he's going to look to hook shot out. He's Is actually he? still alive. Fisher's out, but the, the green they'll take him. The neutrals taking down DY. In the last game as well, of course, from Vici that time round, how much the silence just breaks the, the complete combo of the enemy team in this early game. Top lane. DY. He's found DM. Easy catch here in the cogs and DM. No chance of getting out. Oof, that's something scary to be able to cover his teammates, cover himself for that global. They're scouting behind the tower too, the rocket. It scouts DM. Oh, and he gets the hook shot. That's a deep hook shot there for DY. Straight back underneath the towers. He's got eyes on DM. They're pushing back DM. He's actually going to use the slam, but they've got the damage. DM will fall. They've lost King Slayer as Vici Game were able to get in on the back lines. Magnus on the corner under the tower. Call there under the drought. VP, they're able to hit back. They may have lost two underneath the tower, but losing two cores in response for that Vici Gaming as VP. More on GPK. Nah, he's <laughs> having an excellent game. He's certainly shown his power on the puck. And Nightfall also almost has an Aya Scotty finished up on the Dusa very early. Saving DM, finding DY. Will he go down? Uh, probably do. Okay, yeah, the creep. The creep. Oh, it oh. stopped hitting him. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I'm good. Well, 
I'll let VP take the kill instead. <laughs> I like how they're both just tipping each other back and forth. 11. A lot. It's a really, I actually really like that he went for that. We've been seeing it more, but the early Scotty pickup versus DK and Drow. DK going to be in range form. He's going to get slowed extra. Drow ever gets hit once, it's going to be strong. Ooh, in very, very quick with the blink there. And with that blink, I think, yeah, or he's going to be able to get himself in a position where VP can't go for him anymore. They'll try and turn for DY, but DY, he's closed in on Kingslayer. He's caught the silencer. Hasn't got enough damage on his own to push up into Kingslayer, though. With the rest of VP standing by his side. Old Levy's looking for the jump. He is now able to get the hold onto Kingslayer. Oh, Ori, DM. He's got the setup onto DM. Jump forward with the Dragon Tail. DM will turn with the Fisher, but the burn from the Kisses and the Dragon finishes him off. As VP, they, they fell out the high ground. Avicii Gaming, are there waiting? He's gonna make the jump first, there's the old DM, he's gonna the slam! They get the coil on one, but no slam to follow up here. It's a pretty tanky Magnus. See if they actually are able to finish him off, they are. Fisher's down, old 11 can't escape. They take out the mag there, did cost themselves a couple of the big ults. They, they show the DK, but his DK form is ending, so it's an ideal situation for them to show, blink out, only lose one well, here. Nightfall. He's just run up to the high ground on himself. He's feeling pretty strong. I mean, he is he's pretty dark tanky. farmed. And he is getting away with it. Now Poyo, -Yo, he's got he to try and run, but they're in with the Scotty, so he's caught in the brown ball. They're trying to get the drag out of there with the cookie. He's but on. Poyo -Yo goes down. PYW is also going to be chased out. DM jumps forward. Slap to the face. That's four out on Beachy Gaming. And my goodness, Night Fully, where he knew he could get away with it, just won't. I thought he had it already out onto him, but yeah, I guess the courier just didn't deliver it in time. So two minutes, no BKB. Oh, I like quick jump. Mori is able to find him over here to the side. Skew it back. This is a very dead willow. Mori already looking for more. Was trying to catch the courier, but BKB are rallying around that. But VP, as we've been mentioning, rally around Nightfall, who's more than halfway towards a butterfly. He's gonna have excellent timing on it. Mid. Starting action, I mean, this DK is just dying. Oh, he has to put the BKB, get out. And he gets taken down completely there when he gets caught in by the Fisher. RP. Oh, oh it's a jump. They caught the one, Global comes down in return, and only getting Nightfall in the grab back there, Old 11, so there's nothing else to move in and press on with it from VG Gaming. GPK jumping in behind the tower. That's a couple times now. DM oh, And a quick jump out as well. He touches the hook shot. Fisher's out of the two of them. They're coming out of the kisses but with a face shift. GPK's able to avoid it. Nightfall moves into position with the stone gaze. They're trying to get Ori out of here with the cookie. Nightfall, he's been stood up the high ground, but it's almost as if he doesn't care. A little shred of damage coming in, but have they actually got enough to bring down this producer? Man has signed full load for Nightfall with GPK's in. Jumps across with the orb. A double kill for GPK. Poyo also to fall. They've lost three. Old Eleven on his skewer back to the tier four as he runs away. <laughs> and now with good map control here too, they're about to have another BKB finished up on DM. A DD rune spawns top outside the Roche pit. Oh, here we go. Save. Absolutely. Playing around with the, the three in the morning zone. They go over the kiss of the hook shot. They've had enough for save. I mean, they will kill him off with that. See if they're actually able to get everyone out. Old Eleven, he'll go for the skewer back, trying to take Nightfall away from the rest of his team. Four heroes focusing this Medusa. They'll the use the RP as well, but Nightfall, he's not even taken half HP. He's now ready to move forward with the Stone Gaze. They will be able to disarm him here for now. So Nightfall now chooses to back off. With the jump in onto Kingslayer. Kingslayer, by the looks of it, will be left behind by the rest of the squad as VP will continue the retreat with the... In that butterfly there, it actually is likely that he dies. But with that evasion, you see the Drow Ranger does little to nothing as Poyoyo. They know where he is, GPK's already on top of him. Already starting the action here with the Dream Coil. BKB is still on cooldown for 30 seconds for Poyoyo. He's gonna try and turn and hold his ground, but DM just walks up. Echo Slam right on top of the face of the Drow Ranger. BKB's popped by Ori. I look for the TP out, nothing to put the stop to it through that magic community. So Too many deaths that he had, he's six deaths. When you're playing versus a Medusa who has literal free farm, no deaths whatsoever, and just full map control. Not the position Vici wants to be by any means. I mean, they're even the, got some team right here behind the tower. Vici Gaming really falling apart now as they can barely keep one another alive here. Oh, they just on Nightfall as well now. Oh, Mori. They try for the TP out, but they've got ways to stop it. Ori's escape shut down. He doesn't even bother popping BKB or anything like that, since that is an axe coil. Knows he's going to die either way. Immediately moving up towards the outpost to try and play from the opposite side here. 
Itchy Gaming heading straight back to the base. Fisher will catch the ball. Oh, old 11. He's got the three of them. The global's there, but he's never removed the silence. Still back up to the high ground, but Dia pulls the beacon in the echo as well. They take down DY. Old 11's got to try and run from Nightfall, but the slow's there for the Scardi. They'll get the kill. Diving up to the tier force. Fortification part. Poyo and PYW desperately trying to get back. They'll look to turn over towards GPK Pope, but the fear from save pushes them back. And Ori, he comes back into action with the buyback, but he's not able to get the catch onto anybody. Somehow they have to find and get like, I guess multiple skewers really. It's like all eyes on old 11. If you can get a skewer, then another skewer, then another one, just keep repositioning and taking out heroes so they have a number advantage. It's super hard for Vichy to do much of anything. He's gonna fish, he'll get one. That's the jet. They know where he is now, yeah. that rocket. Giveaway's positioning. He's going to see the Sentry too. Now they're 100% aware. They see DY. <laughs> he's, he's doing his best to get an angle to try and get in on this. And, uh, they will push him away. He tries to TP out, but the fish is there. As he's gone, VP playing it as safe as they possibly could there, really. That's At the same it, time, down on the bottom, PYW also taken out. And fighting shape. Took a little bit of a bruising, but... Still feeling confident, we'll see another round. It's gonna be pretty deep here where he loses the Aegis though. This is behind tier four. The they found the drought. BKB comes out, Poyo over the Hurricane Pipe back to safety. RP's down. They've caught Nightfall, have they got the damage? Hook shot over, he gets the BKB off. Now he's gonna look to try and run past the stone gates. Poyo, he's out of the game, no buyback on the drow. Nightfall still good to go. DY looking to get away. The kisses from PYW coming out of the base. Dragon Tail stun in. Nightfall, he's still able to move away. BKB is popped by the dragon. Is Ori trying to kill off this Medusa, but they just cannot. Nightfall still alive. GPK ready to jump back in. Diving past the Ancient. Kills off old 11. Three dead. No buyback. Ori stopped outside of his base. The E-Ray Blast comes in. GPK styling on them outside of the fountain. GPK. Enemy into a pretty rough mental state before that final game. And this sort of drawn out slow win is definitely not going to be fun to be on the receiving end of. Bottom. Easy kill. No buyback, of course, still for Ori. Still on that long cooldown after the last fight. But now with it being four versus five, this could be VP finally having mercy and look to put an end to this. Odd 11 is a deep skewer. Instantly out with the ultimate though. GPK ready to jump in. He's looking at one Poyo on the back line. They've killed off old 11. They're in on top of the drow. Leashed up as well by the Dream Coil. Poyo tries to down hook shot back in over towards the end. They take out the air, but GPK is in. Pushes back Poyo. What a monster. He's just head standing his ground, high fiving Poyo while dagging fiving him, while e blading him. 40k gold lead. Looking to close this one out finally. GG is there. They call it. They call it, ladies and gentlemen, there we have it, VP taking game two here.